Hey friends. So I have a story that I want to tell you about this weekend, something that happened and uh, a way that my perfectionism got in the way of me having a special experience and sharing one of my gifts with some strangers. So this weekend, uh, the house next door was having its roof redone. So there was this crew of, of laborers who I believe were from Central America um, based on their Spanish and their accents. And they just did an incredible job. Like they worked so hard, they repaired, they totally like redid the roof of this giant house that's next door to us. And, you know, it was hot and sunny and they were carrying stuff up to this, you know, high roof. And I just, I was so impressed with the job they did. And then, um, the cleanup job was actually, it was noisy because uh, they used a leaf blower, which I really uh, find the sound of leaf blowers very irritating. So they did that and it took a long time, but um, I did this thing that I have learned from meditation, which is that, uh, you know, because the, the sound was so irritating and I couldn't get away from it, um, I went to the window and I watched the cleanup and having a context for the sound make it a made it a little more manageable uh, and less irritating. And I also got the satisfaction of seeing what a, an incredibly thorough job they were doing in the cleanup. And, uh, and I, so I had the urge to go say, hey, what an awesome job you all did. And, you know, congratulations on your hard work. For me, this felt a little complicated because of course I don't like the system in which people are forced into doing hard jobs for probably not enough money. And I have complicated feelings about all that, but, but the individuals doing the work, gosh, what a thing to celebrate, right? That, that they did a beautiful job in a short amount of time and they worked together to do it. And so I had this urge and I speak Spanish, but it's been a really long time since I spoke much Spanish and so I'm really rusty and I have always actually had a real strong perfectionist streak in my Spanish speaking. Um, so even when I was at my most fluent, I seemed less fluent than I am because I was always like really working hard to make sure that I am conjugating verbs right and making the nouns and, and objects relate perfectly and you know just like perfectionism and the the way that it plays out um but i thought gosh wouldn't it be nice for these guys to hear from someone who isn't involved in their work a, a celebration and congratulations on doing such a good job and especially when i imagine being in a country that's not your own speaking a, a language that's not your own here i am being so uh, like fragile and tender with myself about not speaking Spanish so well. And, and I have the, the luxury of getting to speak English all the time. I have lived in a Spanish speaking country, so I know how hard and exhausting it is to navigate a world in not your first language. And, you know, so I have all of this direct experience of like, what a gift it might be to hear hey, congratulations on doing a really awesome job um, from someone who's not involved. And yet I got stuck in what am I going to say and how am I going to say it and who am I to say this? And just really questioning myself and holding myself up to a standard that I don't even, from here, I don't even support. <sighs> so I didn't say anything. And... I wish that I had. I missed the opportunity to have a human connection, which is something that I really value in this world. And in particular, here I am living a life where, <coughs> excuse me, where I don't have to work hard labor and I have a much more <coughs> physically and probably emotionally gentle life than these people and I I miss the opportunity to share a moment of appreciation and humanity with them and so I missed that moment with myself as well you know and and saying something is much more aligned with my values and the person that I want to be so I'm asking myself 
what can I do to help myself be willing to step into the vulnerability of that kind of sharing in the future? Because I'd like to, it feels like a gift for me and for them. How does perfectionism get in the way of you enacting your most, uh, your most full and expressed self, the self who is acting in most alignment with your values? It's a tough one. I'd love to hear if you have a similar story or especially if you have found tips and tricks that are helpful in navigating through these moments. Thanks so much, friends. Love you.